Okay, this series is we're going to show you how to set up your arm bars. Um, we're going we're to have him break broken down already, and you're going to go into a, uh, a double wrist lock. Um, you're going to do both wrist control, and then what you're going to do is you're going to use your pressure and roll those wrists under, um, and then whichever side you like to work on, I'm going to show you how to pull that arm out with, with the least amount of resistance and to put it on his back to set up the arm bar. Okay? So right now we've got the rest are broken down. You're going to come in here and grab both his wrists. Okay? You're going to be here. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to pressure up. Okay? And at the same time, you're rolling his wrists under. So he shouldn't be able to fight you when you're pushing up and you're rolling those wrists under. And you're going to put all your weight on it. So he's going to come just like this. Okay? So now he's going to be at a, at a disadvantage, and I like to go to my left side. So I'm going to step off, okay? And I'm going to put all my pressure right there on his arm, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to move you so we can see that, okay? So I come off. You, you fight it a little bit. Put your arm under there, okay? So I'm, I've got here, right? I still got pressure on his back, okay? But I've also I've got my forearm digging in to his tricep. Okay? That's not going to feel too comfortable for him. All right? So already he's thinking about that arm. And I'm right here. Okay? So instead of picking this arm straight up, like you see a lot of guys doing, what we're going to do is we're going to pull it out first. So I'm here. I'm going to pull it out just like that. It comes out this way a lot easier than it comes up. So I pressure, snap it out. Got to keep it on the mat. And then you put it right on his back. Okay? Be careful of the angle because you don't want to be called for potential dangers. So now you've got this, okay? So now from here, I'm going to turn Jordan around, okay? So now we've got the arm on the back. Now what you're going to do, you're going to stick your arm right in, into his, hit the crook of his elbow, right? And you're going to lock that in. You're going to reach across. You're going to get this wrist control. Wrist control is very important, okay? So I see me on my toes. Again, you want to make sure his hand is blocked in here. Don't let him get that thing out there. It's going to make it a lot harder for you to get this move. So you leave that on there. Knuckles in his spine. Hand on his back, you're doing him a favor. Knuckles on your spine, it's going to make it uncomfortable. Grab this wrist, knuckles in the spine. Okay, and what you're going to do, again, like the half, we're not going straight across. What we're going to do, we're going to put his, his, his shoulder into his ear. So you're doing at a diagonal, okay? And again, this is going to be a slow, controlled movement because once you got this locked up, he shouldn't go anywhere. I've got my knuckles in his back. I've got his hand broken down. I've got this blocked up with my hip, okay? And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move that, just walk that shoulder right into his ear. So you see how it goes right into his ear? He's coming over. He's coming over. And then, boom, he's going to be flat as a knee, okay? Get out of your belly. Okay, come this way a little bit. So now we're here. Don't let that arm out. you got to have that block with your hip. You're rolling this wrist under, and you're rolling that shoulder right to his ear, all right? You, you know, so you don't see me doing this. You know, this isn't going to get you anywhere, okay? All that's going to do is waste time. He's going to get out. So you want to lock that in tight. You want to bring that shoulder right to his ear. Boom, that's going to be uncomfortable for him right here. Right? Keep bringing it over, over, step over, nice and flat. 